Anika, welcome to the Good Morning Show. Good morning. And tell me, what were you involved in making? I was the prop sculptor, so I was involved in sculpting all the props, which is um, the things that the actors would handle, hold. So things like Gandalf stuff that everybody has seen on the trailer so far. And that's unfortunately the only one I'm allowed to talk about. But how difficult was it working with such small forms? It is difficult, but if you have a lot of dedication and you spend a lot of time looking and you just keep going and work hard and you have to love your job. And boy, do we love our jobs. And... Was it lovely going to work every morning? Oh, it was a pleasure. It was an absolute pleasure. I don't think there's any way of coming back from a job like that and sort of going back into the real world. I know this about crafts, Mart I? Thanks very much, Asta. Well, from Matarangi Smith to a bladesmith. Hey. Hello, Steve. How are you? Very well. Thank you, Matta. So what are you showcasing at the market? Some knives, I hear? Toys. Toys? Toys. Toys for chasing cabbages and, and fishing and hunting and generally looking absolutely we, beautiful. Yeah. Do you mind if we have a quick look at these toys? Here we go, New Zealand. Have a look at these. Check these out. That's a little knife. It's a little knife. And then you've got a bigger one. Slightly bigger one. Slightly bigger. You want to pull that one out? Sure. Check this out, New Zealand. Oh, stand back. Good. Very good. And then the biggest one, the biggest one. Then the real toy. The, 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 the real the toy. The real big toys. The, very, the deeply unpleasant You won't find toys. this in Asta's kitchen. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that's pretty impressive. That, that's when you see elderly humans like me walking down the other side of the street with one of these. You move away at great speed. Just very quickly, Steve, you did some of the knives that feature in The Hobbit? I did. Did all the cutlery or a great deal of the cutlery. I mean, there's a big team of people working there. It was a fantastic show. It was a really, really great gig. But uh, an enormous amount of metal work, great deal of the props were mainly there to do the sidearms for all the, all the heroes that you see, all the sidearms, almost all of those, and vast amounts of knives, forks and spoons. Oh. We did lots of spoons. Very good. Yes. Thank you so much, Steve. Thank you. Cutting edge stuff, isn't it, Esther? Oh, from a bladesmith to a sculptor. Avan, well, welcome. Potter. A potter. Tell me, what was it like working on such a big production? Wonderful. There was heaps of work to do. Two years full-time potting, 50 hours a week or more, six tons of clay. And six tons? Yeah, and I was lucky that pretty much I was the only um, potter, so had a couple of help for, you know, a few months. But apart from that, just tracking along, so... And tell me, what research was involved for you to make sure that everything that you were doing was as pure to form as possible? Glazes, mainly a lot of um, research with glazes to have interesting fruity glazes with texture, more variation, like it comes from fire, just as long as it's not static, so it comes from the old world. Yeah, a lot of testing. Fantastic and very interesting. I wish I had your job. Mart I. Thanks very much, Asta. I'm joined now by the lovely Cheryl. She is wearing a beautiful scarf, but not just any scarf. What sort of scarf is it, it's, Cheryl? It's Gandalf's magical silver scarf from the Hobbit movie. Wow. So so this is the one that actually features in the movie? Yes, You're... right the way through the whole trilogy. So it's a very special scarf with very magical properties. Wow. So... So how did you get involved? What, did you get the phone call or Peter Jackson give you a call? Or? Oh, we've worked on the movies before. We worked on Lord of the Rings. But we actually make and d we design and create a design of textiles for the movie industry. So on historic looms that date back to the 1890s. So, of course, you can, if people want to come and check it out, they can come and hold the Gandalf scarf. Yes, they can. Sort of reminds me of that. Direct. Sorry? They can purchase it direct, and we've also got... We'll have other products as well, so... And they do the dance with it as well, the Gandalf dance. Do, 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 you know the Gandalf? <laughs> OK, over to you, Esther. <laughs> oh, oh Marta, that's so beautiful. But from a scarf to jewels, Steph, lovely yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How long did you work on The Hobbit for? Um, it was just under two years, or pretty much two years all up, yeah. I was working in the props department with a great collection of crew. Yeah, all the various backgrounds from, yeah, metal smithing, the potter, Ivan was there, sculptors. Yeah, it was amazing. Leather workers all under the one roof. So how many in all would have worked as crafts, would I say crafts people or crafts yeah. persons? Yeah, crafts people. Um, yeah, I don't know the exact numbers. I mean, 3,000 people must have worked on the movie, but possibly 300 crafts people. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but um, yeah, definitely a good variety of us, yeah. And now, I think that, isn't there a craft market where people can come down and have a look at all of the crafts that have been made? Yeah, that's right. It's been a five-day craft market, um, the Hobbit Artisans Market. It's down at Waitangi Park. Um, it's on again today, the last day, actually, from 12 to 6 p.m. Um, it's a selection of artists. There's 30 of us there who worked on either the Hobbit movies or Lord of the Rings, or some people have worked on both movies. 
um, in this market is a chance for us to show our craft what we do outside of the film industry. Oh, fantastic. Marta, thank you very much. Hey, Marta, I, I want to go and see some crafts now. Over to you. Thank you, Asta. Yes, I'm joined now finally by the market manager. This is the lovely Dillis. Good morning, Dillis. Hi. So how did this come about, pulling all these artisans together? Well, we contacted those who'd worked on the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies, and they were incredibly enthusiastic about coming and working down and showing us their wares and selling them to the public, and it's been excellent. Yeah, and yep. this is the fifth and final yep. day, yep. so yep. people have still got a chance and opportunity to come down and check it out, haven't they? Yes, opens at 12, everyone can come down, we can have the full program running from Courtney Place through to the market. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's going to be a complete pandemonium down here in a few yeah. moments. I mean, people are already starting to turn up in their droves. So, um, we will... Yes, hello, Asta. <laughs> Stop running amok down here. <laughs> I know. I mean, people are... You can't see at home New Zealand, but there are people behind us everywhere. So it is uh, a fantastic event. You've yeah. got time to get down to the artisan markets. It closes at 8pm tonight? Yes, it does. And 